provides an update on what's happened in the past year. Tracy is a hardworking mother of six children. She has dedicated herself to create the best life for herself and for her children. We first met Tracy through the Honorable Judge Derrick's District Court in January of 2021. Tracy's children were already in DCFS custody. Since her story was shared here last year, a lot has changed in her life. First and foremost, Tracy worked with DCFS and CASA to reunite with her children, and I'm proud to say that in January of this year, her case was closed. Tracy now has full custody of all six of her children. Through CASA and DCFS. As some of you may remember, Tracy worked with a career coach at ACUBB taking career assessments, which led Tracy to attend the Diesel Tech program. Tracy not only graduated from the Diesel Tech program, but also made the Dean's List. Several programs here. This year somewhere. I guess she was here somewhere. <laughs> Several programs that work to make higher education accessible for Tracy. She receives monthly benefits from T, which allows her to go to school and provide for her family. In her free time, Tracy works to complete her T work activities in our resource center. Is T here? Oh, fantastic. Uh, Leoa also contributes to Tracy's education by paying her rent while she earns her associate's degree in applied science and business. Additionally, Tracy recently received the White County Single Parent Scholarship. <laughs> Tracy has learned how to best utilize resources available in the area to support her in achieving her goals and creating a stable and secure life for her family. Tracy has received legal aid from the Center for Arkansas Legal Services. Jan, could you stand? Thank you. The Storehouse Ministry of Valley Baptist Church has supported Tracy in caring for her children by providing her with diapers, wipes, toiletries, clothing, and even a crock pot. And because of Tracy's hard work, she was chosen to be a recipient of the United Way's Christmas Gift Voucher Program. Thank you. And she has received food from the Arkansas Food Bank. Finally, Tracy recognizes how much she has been given, and she works to give back to those that contributed to her journey. Tracy volunteers at the call. Is Tracy here? Fantastic. Um, and she refers clients to us that need some extra support. She has uh, shared her testimony with foster parents at a meeting held at Whitney Lane Church. She encourages foster parents to build relationships with their foster children's parents and to remember that foster care is a reunification process first. Tracy built, rela Tracy built relationships with the foster parents that kept her children while they were in care and she continues to stay in touch with them today. Additionally, Tracy shares her stories at, story at health meetings she wants to inspire parents that are in the position she once was to stay motivated, engaged, and know that they can create healthy and happy lives for their families. <laughs> They're pretty much your personal cheerleader. Like, just encouragement to keep going and always trying to find a solution to help and plug you into great resources, really. What resources did you get connected with? Um... I went to college through Career Pathways and used... Um, what are you studying? Uh, I studied diesel technologies. I graduated in May. I currently attend for my Associates of Applied Science and Business Technologies. Um, what are you going to do? I don't know. Make some money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and through there, I met Jamie with Jamie Hill with Weola, and she's an amazing woman too. Um, between a hundred families and God, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> so you're back in school. Yes, I'm still getting associates. I never stopped. I took summer classes and still go in. So, when, you, when will you finish up with your associates? Um, hopefully in May, May, I might have to do another semester, depending on how many credits I can cram. Okay. And then, you go to school gonna start or you gonna But hopefully I'm going to start working, so I might not be able to take so many credits at the same time. Um, Will you be in using the diesel tech, or what are you thinking? Uh, probably diesel tech, and then hopefully move up having my business, my associates in business. Okay. I was going to say, um, they also, going to Career Pathways, they referred me to the T program, and that's where I had met uh, Miss Peggy, 
but she, yeah, Peggy Poole, <laughs> and then Hannah Strayhorn, she's taken over. So they've been amazing. What did they do for you? Uh, they provide you assistance, like daycare vouchers in order for your kids to go to school so you can go to school yourself. Well, they go to daycare, so I can go to school myself, and they provide uh, money assistance a month, so that way, um, and to, I have housing approved, but Can't it's hard trying to try and find anything that fits the criteria in that. So until then, WIOA has stepped in, they paid that. So then I can use my T assistance to help provide for my utilities and stuff. So it's easier to 